I guess for the majority of my professional career is with Hockey Australia, where I was a strength and conditioning coach for about eight years. And before that, I was an athlete. I'm a high performance manager for AFLW. My role is to make sure that all our athletes are as physically prepared to play football as they can be, to minimise harm and injury, and on top of all that, make it a bit of fun to get fit and strong. Okay, more, more, give me more, but more, yeah, good. Like flow, get flowy. I also work for a contemporary dance company, and there's times where I do the same session with both groups, one maybe in the morning and one in the afternoon, and see how the different athletes work with the same content. High performance sport by its very nature is really a stressful environment where athletes also need to work hard. So you've got those mental stresses and you've got the physical stresses. So to counter that, we need to work really efficiently with the athletes to build good athletes, but they have to work smarter and not necessarily harder for the good outcomes. I know it surprises people, but it's literally that's not the thing that gets me most motivated and excited is the games, it's the the training and seeing the improvements in athletes. And when you see an athlete that's here and even in their own mindset, they don't think that they can do more or be better or achieve whatever, and they move from this point to getting it, that's the most exciting thing for me and that's the biggest motivator. I think it's interesting coming from a different sport and seeing the difference in the AFLW athletes. They are still so hungry to learn and for knowledge and to grow and develop, which makes my job super, super easy. I think you change things from telling people or athletes what to do for it to become a collaborative process where we're all just working together for the best result. The end road, I think, for my job done well is Athletes can do their own thing, so making myself redundant. So if I have an athlete, and I love it when athletes do this, they text me or call me and say, I want to do this, 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 is that okay? I'm like, job done. When athletes recognise their own flaws or weaknesses and come to me and say, I need to work on this without me prompting it, that's the ultimate in my job, that I have passed on enough knowledge that they can do their own thing. So get the move them around, go slow. I want the athletes to be as good as they can be. And I want to be as good as I can be. I always think I want to be that old woman that climbs mountains at 80 because I'm still moving and I'm still active. We have to prepare athletes, but we have to prepare people for life as well. So I kind of try to balance that in doing some fun stuff, some interesting stuff, along with the more traditional strength and conditioning type things. It's great having a partner like Programmed who value the power of a job done right.